Thank you for the gift of scripture, how it challenges our hearts, um, especially during this time where we balance this great celebration we have today, but also with the great conflict that we see in our communities um, across this country. Um, we lift up to you, God, to redeem it all and to bless it all and to lead us to help. How, how do we begin to uh, help in this redemption of the world? All this we ask in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. So, uh, <laughs> yesterday we, we, we had a rehearsal because we have a baptism today. And, uh, and, and there's a lot of moving parts going on today with blessing in the backpacks. So we did a rehearsal of everything. We changed up the seating, as you can see. Y'all like the seating, by the way? Like keep? Yes? No? Yes? We guys see some thumbs up. Any nose? Any nose? The church is the people, so, you know, it's not about what I think. Um, thumbs up. Okay, great, great. Where's your pops? Okay. He's <laughs> fighting fires. All right. Um, so, but we, so I came up with this, like, sermon, and I was like, okay, this is how I'm going to combine the Feast of St. Mary with the blessing of the backpacks, which will lead into the baptism. I'm good to go. It was literally right after our rehearsal. And I was like, I'm great. I'm good to go. And then I got home, and I turned on the news, right? And I'm like, oh, gosh. Uh, and it's hard, it's hard to ignore such a pain in, uh, in, our, in, our, in our community, um, in, our, in, our, in our country as Americans. And, and it's, it, it would be a, I, would be, I would do a disservice to you as your pastor if I didn't even mention it um, and talk about it. Um, and, um, and we have to look at, it's easy on social media. There's a lot of fingers pointing. And a lot of people say, those are the bad people, right? Those are the bad people. Look at those horrible people they're doing. Uh, the label, the white supremacists, the KKK, the bigots, this and that. Absolutely. Um, anything that is going to divide our community, anything that's going to divide the body of Christ is a sin. Anytime we look at our fellow brother or sister and say, you're less than me, you are not welcome in my community, you're not welcome with me is a sin. All throughout the Old Testament, or the Hebrew Scripture, all throughout the New Testament, God is including and bringing even Israel, who he chose, his law was to go out and allow the alien, to accept the alien and take care of the alien. Give your surplus, give your food to the alien. So it was never just about Israel. There's so much about the neighbor and about loving the neighbor. And as we get to what Jesus fulfills and breaks it all down to two laws, as we know, the greatest law is to love the God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and then to love, love your neighbor as yourself. He doesn't define who your neighbor is. He doesn't say what color your neighbor is. He doesn't say what gender. He doesn't say what sexuality. He doesn't say any of that. Because it's not easy just to love. You don't, he doesn't say you have to like them. <laughs> we are called to love. So we see that brokenness, and we see us reverting back to tribalism in the media. We see this, these images that we thought we were way past. We saw images we haven't seen in 50 years being just thrown around, right? So racism is still here. We know that. It hasn't gone away. Uh, but how do we respond to Christians? The most important thing is, okay, so how does that affect us? What do we do on this day that we celebrate our community of St. Mary's? On this day that we celebrate this community of God? On this day that the reason why we're here together as a community is because of Jesus Christ who ended tribalism. No longer are we just these 12 tribes of Israel. No longer is it Gentile and Jew. We're all unified under Jesus Christ. And if I can't look into your heart and into your eyes and see the heart of Jesus but I see something different, something so I can make you less than me, I am breaking the body of Christ, and that is the greatest sin. So I can sit here and say, I'm not like those people. I'm not like someone waving a flag that means so much hatred. I'm not that those people. What does that do? That just puts me above them. The harder choice is to look in the mirror and say, how am I part of this disease? How am I, Christian Anderson, a part? Where is racism in my blood? Where is this bigotry? How do I separate and divide myself from others so I feel better about myself? And let's, that, that's the macro. Let's go to the micro. So kids, when we're at school, sometimes we feel better by gossiping. Yeah? Sometimes we feel better about talking. You've heard it. Other friends say that. They say, oh, she's kind of weird, isn't she? Yeah, she's kind of weird. It makes us feel better because we're like, I'm not like her. <laughs> right? I'm not like him, that kid who's not too good at basketball. That's division. We're dividing the body of Christ. We're dividing that love that God has put inside of us. So yes, what we see on TV, that's the macro. That's when it gets really divisive. That's when it gets really ugly. But we, in our own communities, in our own families, at our own jobs, at our own schools, can do the micro parts. When we talk bad about other people, when we don't allow people to come sit with us at lunch, 
when we uh, don't see the person who's new in school or new in class who maybe doesn't have a lot of friends, and we don't go over there to say, hey, I'll be your friend. Whatever you need, I'm here for you, with that beautiful smile, because that warms our heart, right? And the giggles and the laughs. That's our call as Christians. That's what makes us crazy Christians. We are countercultural. We don't try to be tribal. And the St. Mary's, sometimes we've gotten that critique. St. Mary's people are awesome, but they're sometimes a little St. Mary's, you know? <laughs> I don't know what that means. I've only been here for a year. I've experienced a lot of love, a lot of hospitality from this community, from all of St. Mary's, right? But we need to reflect, too, is what is the rest of Martin County saying about us, right? And is it, hopefully, wow, inviting, warm, loving, accepting, going out into the community, going across the train tracks, being with all of their brothers and sisters, because that's where Jesus calls us to do. Jesus didn't say, it's just my tribe. He said, now get out and go out into the world. Get out into the community. Go out and spread this love. Don't keep it a part of yourself. Last week with the Transfiguration, remember? Peter's up on the mountain saying, Jesus, God is talking. You're the Messiah. Here's Moses. Here's Elijah. Let's stay up here in this mountaintop. Have our experience and build these three homes. He's like, no. Get off this mountain. Go into the valley. Go into the darkness. Go next to this father. And what's the next story that follows? It's a father crying about his son who can't be healed. He says, you go there. You want to be my followers? You go where the hurt and the pain is the most. <sighs> Saw some hurt and some pain yesterday. Saw some brokenness. How do we respond in our own daily lives? First, how do we reflect on our own spirituality, our own faith, and our own relationship with our brothers and sisters? And just recognize, sometimes, yeah, I'm broken. <laughs> I'm always broken. Sometimes, yeah, the, the, the disease of racism, I got a little bit. It's just, it's, it's, we're, we're, we're mammals. To be tribal is part of our mammalian species. But glory to God for me to be redeemed by Jesus Christ, who says we are made one and whole, and I am renewed by Jesus. And when I feel that I want to gossip at school, and I feel that I want to point fingers at other kids, and I feel that I want to separate myself and say, no, I'm richer, I'm smarter, I'm this, I'm that, that person, I don't like them, or they're just a racist, or they're just this, or they're just gay, or whatever we want to say, I go to Jesus and I say, God, redeem me. Because I'm not just a mammal, a tribal mammal to form my tribe to feel better out of my own insecurities and my own brokenness. Because I see those young men on TV. What are they so angry about? There's an insecurity there. Pray for them. Pray for their hearts to be healed because they are acting out of so much insecurity and fear. Oh, you're taking this away from me. I'm so fearful. So we come into this space as a united community, we come into this space with our own brokenness. We come into this space with our own sin. And we come to this table to be redeemed and made whole. Because the good news is we are restored and we are renewed. We just got to claim that. And you got to claim it every day. You got to put your sin down, that honesty to God, and say, God, I'm broken here. Sometimes I gossip. Sometimes I get uh, uh, really divisive. Sometimes, Lord, um, I, I'm, not, I'm kind of a jerk to be around. Excuse my French kids. You don't want to say jerk, okay? But I'm not nice to be around. Lord, you are giving me patience. Lord, you're giving me a whole heart because, Jesus, you are in me. I am restored and renewed. Because why? Because I have been baptized in the holy waters. Today, we're going to celebrate that. Today, we're going to have a baptism. As a community of St. Mary's, we are bringing a new one, Valentina Gerbino, into our family and say, Valentina, we are here to stand by you, my sister, because we know this Christian walk is challenging. We know it's beautiful, but it's challenging. You've got to love your enemies. Whew. All right? We are here by, we are taking a vow for you. Not just the godparents, not just the parents, but all of us, all of the kids, everyone. Because you can't do Christianity by yourself. We do it as a community. And we're honest with one another about our sin, but we also know the grace of being renewed and restored and made. This is what blows my mind. Scripture two weeks ago says you will be like the reflection of Jesus Christ. If you are doubting who you are and your possibilities and your goodness, you look to Scripture and it says wrong, error. God made you the reflection of his perfection and is leading you to be like his son, Jesus Christ. And if it says, you will do greater things. That's what Jesus says. 
you'll do greater things than I have done. Are we willing to accept Are we willing to accept that we are that loved? <laughs> despite my own brokenness, despite my own sin, despite who I am, that I am called to do greater things than Jesus because he wants us all as a community to reveal this kingdom of God and say, no, this is how God called us to be. People of compassion, of love, of selflessness, of humility, like we heard today in the scripture. The Virgin Mary, given so much power, you are going to birth God. And she says, but you know what? It's not about me. It's about the people. The Virgin Mary is the ultimate call of humility that we are called in our daily lives to. So let's celebrate a new member of this community. We're going to pray, and we're going to be present, and we're going to send our love towards this wonderful girl, Valentina. So can I invite the family up? And you all are going to stand right here. And kids, you are the church.